Yo, yo, and welcome to the update video, which is going to be a little long because there is a lot to cover, like a whole lot of shit. We're not only covering what's going to be going on for the rest of this year, going on next year, as well as the elephants in the room being the SMT5 video and the Majin Tensei videos as well. Also, by the way, a little disclaimer, if this video seems like I'm a little stuttering a bit, just know that... Um, I only have like a guideline for what I'm talking about for the update video, nothing like an actual script or anything. So, uh, yeah, apologies in advance. Okay, cool. Let's just get right into it. There's a lot. There's just a lot. All right, so let's start off with the SMT5 video update real quick. So, long story short, at the time of this video's upload, the 5 video is basically done. Uh, editing is done. The post production, I don't even really have to do a lot of it because I got a new mic. And uh, yeah, a lot of that stuff will be done, but as of right now, there's some surprises that I wanted to do for this video because I wanted to go big at the end of the Megaton retrospect, and some of those stuff is still going on currently, and I won't say much about it, but it's something that you'll probably be surprised about, especially if you're within the Megaton community and such. So the plan currently is that I'm going to release the SST5 video around mid to late August, and at worst early September, depending on if those surprises can fully come through and everything, you know, falls in place, like puzzle pieces going down perfectly and the uh, random shit that I'm saying, I don't even fucking know what I'm saying. Um, yeah, it's just let the process go and I'm also debating during that time to kind of like re-record some bits and pieces of it, you know, to make it sound better because I finally figured out how to fully like utilize my mic around that time. So yeah, it's something I'm still debating on right now, but yeah, just know the SCT5 video is still coming out, and I do thank you guys for your patience, and I do apologize for the lack of updates that I have been giving around that video. Um, then we had the Majin Tensei one. Uh, that one's gonna be... Oh, boy. Now, the original plan was that after the Megaton retrospect, I was going to do Majin Tensei 1, 2, and Ronde after, you know, the end of everything. You know, then the Megaton retrospect more specifically. Yeah. However, during my break, I ended up realizing, among many things, that I was burnt out on Mega Ten. Like, if I played another one of those games, I don't think I would have been able to fully go through it. It might have been like 5 10 minutes, and I was just like, boom, instant drop and shit. And with Majin Tensei, Majin Tensei 2, um, I kind of want to, you know, really, really look into those games. Not a lot of people have done it, or in this case, Majin Tensei has been done by March, but I kind of want to look into it a bit more as well, you know, see his development and all the other shit. And, uh, yeah, I don't want to make it... Okay, how should I say it? I don't want to make it a bad video. Like, I don't want to... I don't want the video to just be me kind of, like, spewing vitriolic... 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 Olic... Vitriolic... <laughs> English is hard for me, goddammit. Vitriolic shit towards this game. And if it's not necessary. Like, with Macho Tensei, I ended up doing a bit of recording, uh, after my break. And I realized that the game was slow as fuck. I didn't want to just say the game was slow as fuck. I wanted to see what the good in it was. So, in order to do that, and also, you know, for my own sanity, I decided that I was just going to, you know, wait to go do those games. But you guys don't have to wait long. The plan currently is that those videos will be coming out around late October, early November. And those are, like, set in stone, too. I'm going to be recording more and more of my Tensei 1 and 2. Um, during the coming months so that you guys don't have to wait a month for those videos to come out and I can go and get to the other stuff that I want to do as well you know win win make it all easy and shit and hopefully run day isn't long hopefully considering it's mega 10 it might be long uh, and yeah it also might be long too because I don't understand Japanese I, or I don't know Japanese I only took it back in my freshman year of high school so <laughs> yeah now coming up with some of the games that I wanted to do after the mega 10 retrospect was it was fucking tasking because there was a lot of games that I've been playing this year and even last year that I really wanted to kind of bring up. I won't go into too much details over it because then this section will be like almost five minutes long. But long story short, there is a lot. But some of the stuff that I still want to do that's like set in stone from the last update video, which you should check out on the card uh, right here. Uh, you know what? Yeah, let's just go over like a couple of it, you know. One of them is the Rhythm Game Retrospect, which is going to be me covering Parappa the Rapper and Space Channel 5. But I decided to also add Guitaro Man, a game I've been seeing all across TikTok for like the past year and a half. And it was made by the same guy who made Elite Beat Agents. And that alone is enough for me to want to check out this fucking game. 
Now, afterwards, I'm thinking about doing... Okay, so this one's a difficult one that I've been thinking about. Uh, I'm trying to debate whether or not I want to do Elden Ring or Tears of the Kingdom. Because both of those games are phenomenal. They are amazing. But god damn it, are they here so long because they're open world. Um, as of right now, I'm thinking about doing uh, Tears of the Kingdom. Because that one is, you know... It's great. It's so fucking fun. You can actually fly around places. You know, traversing the world isn't as annoying as it was in Breath of the Wild. But I also want to do Elden Ring. You know, I want to talk about that game. I want to talk about how some of the bosses were fucking easy. Yeah, some of the bosses in there were easy. Or how some of the other bosses were hard. How the game is actually really fun and great for beginners. There's a lot. There is so much I want to talk about with both of these games. But I don't know exactly which one I want to do yet. So... Probably after the Rhythm Game Retrospect, or maybe after the Street Fighter video, which is another game that I'm going to be doing. Probably after the Rhythm Game game section and all that shit. Uh, so yeah, so I'm currently debating that right now. And if one or the other doesn't get picked, it'll probably be done by early next year. So yeah, uh, afterwards, I do want to do a Jet Set Radio video, mainly covering all... Not, not covering all of them, because there's only like two games, or three if you count the GBA game. But I want to cover those games because by... Bomb Rush Cyberfunk is coming out on August 18th, and I really want to check those out. Give some love to Jet Set Radio, and you know, hopefully get some fans to you know be like, oh hey yeah, there's Jet Set Radio. Let me go try it out, you know, all that shit. Then finally, uh, September wise, rest of September, I honestly think I might just do like, yeah, that one's also been difficult because I don't know what other game I might do. I do know I want to do the Bouncer because I got the Bouncer recently. It's fun. It is so stupid, but it is. It's so fun. So I do want to give love to that game. Let me check a couple other games out. Don't know yet. October-wise, that one's going to be pretty easy. Because I want to be doing some horror games for the rest of that month. And as of right now, I have two that I currently want to do. That being the Resident Evil 2 remake. And later going to be Clock Tower. And I know with the Resident Evil 2 remake, I do want to do Resident Evil in the future. But as of right now, you know what? I can cheat a little bit. I can cheat a little bit with this one. And honestly, I think maybe the last horror game might be D or another horror game I'm trying to debate right now. I'm doing some research on that shit currently. And finally, November, as you guys know, will be Majin Tensei, Majin Tensei 2, and Ronde. Finally, as for December, besides Snowboard Kids, which is something that I do want to do, I'm setting that shit in stone, I also want to do the Parasite Eve video. And I mentioned that I wanted to do this back in 2021 and 2022, but because of COVID and, you know, timing constraints, all perspective, I decided to say, fuck it. This is going to be the year I do Parasite Eve. And if I don't, I'm going to be pissed. But long story short, we're going to be doing Parasite Eve in December. And then, yeah. So then comes the major retrospectives. Back in June, I ended up asking you guys, what was the next major retrospect you wanted me to see? In between Ace Attorney, Devil May Cry, Yakuza, and Mega Man X, y'all were like neck to neck between the first two. And you know what? That's what we're going to do. But how that was going to work is that I'm going to be doing Ace Attorney first. So the current plan for that is that we're going to be doing the first set of the Ace Attorney trilogy. You know, the first three games. And I'll also include the Miles Edgeworth games as well because those are pretty cool. I don't see a lot of people talk about it. So it'd be a little nice to, you know, bring it up and stuff. And then afterwards, we'll also be doing Devil May Cry in the middle before we do the second trilogy involving Apollo Justice with the Professor Layton games. I was going to add the Grace Ace Attorney to it as well. But I decided to kind of let that be his own thing so I can kind of, you know, review it in and out of itself, if that makes sense. So, yeah. After those are done, we'll be doing Yakuza. And with Yakuza, I'm also going to be splitting this up into two parts because those games can be long, especially for grinding for different, like, you know, better moves and stuff. And knowing me, I'm going to do all the fucking side quests in there. But it's also because of some of the story dreads as well. Because from Yakuza 0 to 3, it kind of has this whole overarching story with it but by the time you reach the yakuza 4 it's something completely different or it feels different and stuff so i am gonna kind of you know split up between that so first one would be zero to three and then the final one would be four all the way up until seven hell we might do eight and maybe even do the new yakuza game that should be coming out this year so yeah after yakuza we're also going to be doing metal gear solid and this one was actually based on the fact that Snake Eater is going to be getting a remake. And because of that, I was like, you know what? Let's cover this shit. And I know it's going to be a huge task to do this shit. But what I'm currently going to be doing, or the current plan as of right now, is that we're going to be covering MSX games 
all the way up until Sons of the Patriots. Because if you think we're going to be doing Metal Gear Solid 5, uh, Portable Ops, Peacekeepers, and all that shit, no. Not right now. Like, if we did all of that together, that shit would take about two years. Or maybe three, depending on, like, how long some of those games are. And, uh, yeah, I don't think I have the energy for that right now. I've learned my lessons with this last Megaton Retrospect. So, <laughs> yeah, so that's going to be the plan for that. And the final retrospect, as of right now, is platforming related. So, originally, I was debating on doing either Mario or Crash Bandicoot. But then I thought to myself, I loved Sonic as I was a kid. Like, I loved Sonic Rider, Sonic X, all that shit. So, for the first platformer retrospect of this channel, we will be doing Sonic the Hedgehog. I kind of have to. It's one of my favorite franchises, even though it is very messy. <laughs> it's very messy. There's a lot of... Mm, and stuff. So we're gonna be covering those games now. I haven't planned the Sonic one just yet I planned the Metal Gear Solid one, but not Sonic yet and as of right now I'm thinking of probably doing all of the mainline games that we currently have so everything from Sonic 1 All the way up until I think Sonic Superstars Maybe even Sonic Frontiers as well. Wait, was it Sonic Superstars that's called the new Sonic game that's coming out soon? I don't remember which one but that's what's going to be the plan going forward. Uh, it might change. It might be like another split with y like Yakuza and Metal Gear Solid and Ace Attorney. <laughs> but we'll definitely see on that point. Also, there's one last announcement that I forgot to mention. Damn. So, another thing that I asked you guys back in June was, Hey, what streaming platform do you, would you guys like to see me on? In between YouTube and Twitch, y'all made your decision. So, starting this month in probably mid-August, late August, early September, we will be streaming here on YouTube. There's still some stuff I have to sort out with my Twitch contract. It's not like a big one, like, oh my God, you're paying hundred million dollars. No, 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 It's not like that, right? Basically, when you become an affiliate, you have to sign this like affiliate agreement contract bullshit. And uh, yeah, I have to check over that shit real quick. So I'm making sure I'm not breaking shit. <laughs> I'm probably, if I, if I do break shit, it's not gonna matter because I'm not going back on Twitch. Uh, too much bullshit is going on over there. Now, I even thought about going on Kick and Rumble, but... Uh, 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 so, yeah, let's, we're just doing YouTube as of right now. So, when that gets started, I don't have a tentative or... Okay, the tentative streaming dates for that will be Tuesday and Thursdays. But, it might kind of be like once one stream per week type of deal depending on how my classes are uh yeah i'm still i'm still going over that right now because i'm trying to hurry up and graduate <laughs> a little personal here but yeah i'm trying to hurry up and graduate early so uh yeah we'll just have to see about that point but yeah i'm gonna be streaming on youtube and um yeah with that thank you guys so much for watching something in the video and also bear with me i hate doing update videos but yeah, I think it's better to do it without a script here so you know you can be more interpersonal and all that other shit. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so the plan right now is that we're going to be covering the uh, rhythm games that I mentioned before. So all the crap of the rapper, including Oom Jammer Lammy, Space Channel 5, and Guitar Roll Man. And hopefully after that video comes out, we'll also be doing that 5 video, or not doing, the 5 video will be coming out as well. And if it doesn't, it'll come out in early September, and if not... I, I do apologize. I do hope this video can come out. I'm going to get some of the background factors cleared away, settle, and all that other stuff. But yeah, but I do hope you guys are excited as me to go through for the rest of this year and going into next year. I'm really excited to go into Ace Attorney and Devil May Cry. And yeah, a lot of great stuff is going to be going on. And uh, yeah, I, I, I'm excited. So like always, make sure to like, comment, subscribe if you guys enjoyed the video. Press the bell notification so you guys know when videos are going to be coming out. And like always, make sure to... God damn it. And make sure to stay safe, wear a mask, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace! Jesus Christ.